review of the album Led Zeppelin, the complete BBC sessions. It was produced in 1997 and produced by Jimmy Page. Uh, before I get into the album, since this is going to be a pretty short video, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and announce the stuff I'm going to do next. So um, after this album, I just have Celebration Day and the Ranking the Zeppelin uh, albums uh, video to do to complete Zeppelin. And so after that, I'll be doing uh, the Eagles. Kind of a few things went into deciding to do them next, mainly that they're doing their uh, farewell tour now, so I thought it seemed like an appropriate time. Also, uh, Randy Miser recently passed away, and he's my favorite Eagle, so I kind of wanted to do uh, the Eagles videos and kind of tribute to him since I'm not really ready to do his solo uh, career yet. So, yeah, it's going to be the Eagles next. Uh, anyway, this album is not one that I'm super familiar with. Uh, I've only listened to it a couple times. I didn't have it until getting ready to do these reviews, and um, I, I remember seeing it when I was growing up, I think usually at Walmart. I uh, never bought it, mainly because, uh, as I've said before, I've always been more into studio albums, and when it came to Zeppelin, I had How the West Was One, and I had the live DVD, and uh, for me, that was kind of enough uh, live Zeppelin, really. I was like, well, I really love uh, both of those, and just not in a hurry to get the rest of the live stuff. So I put off getting this for years. And uh, I, I don't know if I regret doing that or not because honestly, like I'll get into a little bit, this isn't my favorite, uh, like my favorite era. The band isn't really represented here. Um, that said, it is really good, so I probably should have got it sooner. Um, so I guess there are different versions of this. I think that. Uh, originally it only had two CDs, this had a third CD. Um, the first disc, I'm not going to like read through the tracks because there's a ton of them. Uh, the first disc is mainly, uh, I feel like their first album era and kind of their just really early stuff. Uh, it's like a 74 minute disc or something like that. So really long, uh, pretty much every, all three discs are pretty long. I think the shortest one's like 40 minutes. Uh, a lot of songs, so it's definitely worth um, worth getting just on that, like how many songs there are. Uh, the performances, from what I can tell, all seem really good. I didn't. I listened to the whole third disc tonight. Um, I listened to most of the first disc yesterday. The second disc I didn't listen to recently because it's the one I've actually listened to the most. Uh, kind of going up to this because it's got the songs I like on it the most. Uh, but I did listen to a few off that and. The only thing I noticed listening to any of the songs tonight was that I thought Plant sounded a little bit uh, rough on the, the version of Stairway that's on here. Uh, other than that, I couldn't really find anything, but I haven't listened to this album uh, probably as much as I should have uh, for doing this review. Um, so the, like I said, the second disc is probably my favorite. It's got stuff more in the time period of like Zeppelin 2, 3, and 4. Um, so it's kind of, I like that one for the songs that are on it really. Uh, the third album is kind of, I can't even really, I just listened to it but I can't remember what's on it. Um, it kind of goes back to that uh, first album group of songs. It, I guess not, negative might not be the right word, but kind of negative things about it is it has uh, quite a few repeat, so uh, repeat songs on it, but since they're different performances that doesn't really uh, I don't know, it's not like a big deal or anything, but it's just kind of, it's not the kind of album being the way it is that uh, I would want to sit down and like listen to every disc in a row um, and listen to all the way through just because there's, um, you know, a little bit of repetition. Uh, but overall, I think that it's a, a really good live album. It's got just, you know, so much to it. Uh, they're all, they all seem to be really good performances and, um, I, I don't think it's ever going to be my favorite Zeppelin live album, just because it doesn't really uh, I'm going to represent the era of the band that I like more. I think that this is probably like better performances than you would have gotten out of them later on in that era that I like. But uh, to me, it's really about the songs. I would just rather listen to you know songs like Cashmere and Trampled Underfoot and the Ocean and stuff like that than I would like Communications Break Down and uh, You Shook Me. So anyway. Uh, Really good album if you're into Zeppelin, definitely uh, check it out if you haven't.